Hello, new wave of British Heavy Metal.com here. Today it's the 10th of August 2024 and quite a big day because today through the letterbox uh, arrived this Blue Oyster Cult 50th anniversary live in New York City, the second night performance, you know, because uh, back in September 2022, uh, you know, the cult marked their 50th anniversary by playing three consecutive nights at the Sony Hall in New York and each of those nights featured in, in order their, their first three albums from, from back in the early 70s. Of course, the first night was the debut album and this one, the second night, is Tyranny and Mutation all the way through, start to finish. And uh, the, also there's, there's a 13-song set of uh, other stuff from throughout their career, you know, old, new, uh, little played live and, and so forth. It's, uh, you know, all, all good stuff as you'd accept from the, the, the always reliable Blue Oyster Cult, of course. And in, in recent years, uh, you know, the, the BOC have had something of a, a late career surge, haven't they? Starting in uh, 2020, when out of nowhere, we, we had a new studio album, the superb Symbol, Rema Re Symbol Remains, and now, now we've got these 50th anniversary sets as well. Well, the first two at least. Because the, the first night came out, when was that? I think that was December last year. So here we are just like eight and nine months later and we've got night two. And, you know, th this is as you'd expect. You know, we all know the Blue Oyster Cult, don't we? This is as you'd expect. It's timeless classic rock as it should be by a band who've been there, done it and, and done it again and continue to do it. You know, 50 years in. Okay, so the, the stadium days of, of you know, the, the 70s when, when, you know, it was lasers and mirror balls and Godzilla masks and big productions. Those days are long gone. But, you know, Blue Oyster Cult don't, don't need all that, do they? Because they've got enough presence and, and talent and ability and experience to, to knock out classic stuff like this effortlessly and let music do the talking, not, not a fancy stage set. Tyranny Mutation, of course, was and still is an album which never disappoints, does it? 51 years old now, came out in 1973, it's 2024 now. Still fresh, influential and relevant. And it's it's got that great mixture, hasn't it, of what, what you might call, well, what I call, cultured heaviness and, and some, some trippy psych stuff going on as well. Of course, from back then, we, we've still got Eric Bloom and Donald Rosa, Richie Castellano, Richie Castellano, Jules Rodino and Danny Miranda have been in the band for a long time, many, many years, haven't they? Uh, quite a stable lineup, you know, they, they blaze through all this just like effortlessly. And good old Albert Bouchard uh, joins in fun too on, on a bit of rhythm guitar and whatnot, some background vocals, and he, he looks like he's having the time of his life, does Albert. And of course, you know, T Tyranny and Mutations, it's, it's an album full of classics all the way through, isn't it? You know, the thump in the red and the black and, and OD'd on life itself. We, we've got that powerful, frantic, relentless heaviness of um, Hot Rails to Hell and Seven Screaming Dis, Dis Busters. You know, th those four songs take no prisoners, do they? Um, you know, just marvellous, marvellous stuff. Baby Ice Dog. Wings wetted down and teen archers start to bring in that, 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 those trippy, um, elements. And then Mistress of the Salmon Salt goes full on psych trippy, doesn't it? Terrific stuff from start to finish. You just can't go wrong. And then, uh, you know, after, after tearing through Tyranny Mutation, uh, flawless performance as it is, then we, we've got that second set, uh, which, which is a mixture of the must plays. You, you know what they are. You don't need me to tell you, do they? Do you? And, um, you know, that, that we've got a couple from the symbol remains. And we've got some nice surprises as well that, that get a run out, which, uh, perfect water from the much maligned club ninja album. I like that album. I know a lot of cult fans don't, but I, I think that's excellent. Then we, you know, then we've got some other, uh, I, I don't like the term deep cuts, but that's what they are, I suppose. Uh, Tenderloin and the Revenge of Vera Gemini. And, um, you know, the, the, the stunning set is, is closed out. Eventually, you know, this second night comes to a close. It, it, it's ended by perhaps the, the heaviest song that, that Blue Oyster Cult have written. The relentless 
Cities on Flame from the debut album. I mean, it's, it, this is so heavy, but so good. And, uh, you know, you, you, you don't need me to tell you, do you, that, you know, that you, you, if you know your Blue Oyster Cult, you, you know that what to expect here. You, you, you've probably got a copy already, or, or if not, you've got one on order, or if not, you've got the album. And Anyway, you, you know what to expect here if you know your Blue Oyster Cult. And if you don't, well, perhaps it's time you did. Because they don't make them like this anymore. They really don't. This is unmissable stuff. Double CD plus a DVD. Other formats available. You know, I'll, I'll put a link to it in the description below on Amazon, so you can you know go go and get the uh, the, the the format of choice. And uh, don't forget also that the first night when they they went through their self-titled debut album as well. That that's available. And of course, we've got the third night to look forward to, which will be the all-time classic, and in my opinion, the unbeatable secret treaties. So come on, Frontiers, let's have that sharpish, all right? Got to move on. Anyway, that that's it. The amazing Blue Oyster Cult, can't go wrong with them. And, you know, they, they just prove it time and time again, as, as they do here. Tyranny Mutation, start to finish. 13 other songs of, you know, just classic Blue Oyster Cult. Marvellous, marvellous stuff. Please subscribe to the channel before you go, if you wouldn't mind, because that'd be a huge help. And as always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and take care.